Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy HJ back with episode two of the realistic Detroit Lions rebuild. So, a couple new things we got here. You see, we have the weekly challenges. I mean, not the weekly challenges, but player of the week. And Kenny Galladay has won the player of the week. I messed up my past recording, but he did get a breakout scenario to get his X factor this week. I had to get either 200 yards or four touchdowns. He almost had 200 yards last week, so we should be able to get that. And our DN Romeo also got one, and I think all he needs to do is get a tackle for a loss, force fumble, sack, or something like that. So, those are going to be pretty easy to get. The playoff picture, the Bucks are still in the playoffs even after taking that loss. And with the standards, it looks like they're going to be cool even if they lose this week. But this week, what we're going against is our rival, the Minnesota Vikings. I know, I know, it could be a tough game against Dalvin Cook. Adam Thielen, Jefferson, Harrison Smith on the defensive side of the ball. But we're going to go all out. We're not holding back. We're not going to tank or anything like that. So let's get this game started. But before we get this game started, I'm going to show y'all what Matt Stafford and Kenny Galladay were doing. By Matthew Stafford, the veteran, former number one pick back in two. Could you sense the relief, though, when they only gave up the field goal? And they were able to trot back out on the field and start this try too. Didn't force it downfield when he didn't have it. Just checked it down, let him get the first down. And that's exactly what he did. Stafford throws complete to Galladay. And he takes it down deep into enemy team that time. And now it's third and goal. No game on the play. Brings up third and goal. Now Stafford on third and goal. And that is caught. Despite giving up the field goal, this is still a one-score game. They're in need of the touchdown and a two-point conversion. A field goal on this drive likely doesn't do them much good. Throw it. He's got a man complete. And he takes this one in for the Lions touchdown. So yeah, y'all see the connection was crazy between Stafford and Galladay, and we're going to try to continue that this week. And I, like I told y'all in the first episode, I'm always going to try to wear these color rush because I love that gray with a little bit of blue. Let's get the game started. Last week of the season, no chance of making the playoffs. We just want to get to free agency. We want to get to the draft and start getting a rebuild start. Look at the jerseys, man. They're kind of clean. Next thing, giving that nice little touch to it. The coaches kind of look the same, like their outfits and whatnot. It doesn't look any better, but the uniforms, I can honestly say, look a lot better on next gen. Look at the B-roll, man. Ooh-wee, okay. Okay, Madden with the presentation, which I don't, yeah, that never happens. We never get jumps like that. Relax. Playing to the rest early. The game hasn't even started yet, bro. Let's go crazy, man. Matt Stafford, come on, man. Leader of the team against the Vikings, you got, I forgot who their QB was for a second. Kirk Cousins out there. Not similar QBs, because Kirk Cousins has a noodle arm. Stafford out here with the Rocket, still at age 32. We're going to get right. Let's get straight into the game. Who are we getting ball first? Okay, we're kicking it off. Let's put total leather. Last game, my kicking bar was glitching. I don't know if y'all peaked or not. But it was glitching every time I kicked the field goal. Hopefully that doesn't go on this game. So we got Amir Abdullah taking a touchback. And we got Kirk Cousins coming out. Let's see the season he's been having. 33 touchdowns and 15 interceptions and almost 4,000 yards. I feel like I feel like he doesn't get the credit he deserves for being a pretty good QB. He's obviously not the best. But I think he's a serviceable QB. He's more like an Alex Smith type of QB. But... A little better to be honest but people don't give him the credit for it, so it's whatever let's see what he got for us today i'm gonna be playing a harm in this place let's get that run stop early oh oh that was almost scary looking dalvin that was almost scary look we cannot let him get started look at all the injuries man there's some that is not even popping up there so last episode i couldn't find jeff akuda and then i found out that he's on ir as well i totally forgot that he got injured Sucks that we couldn't develop him more, but, you know, next season we got it. I right, kept that to a minimal game of about 5 or 4, 31. Got to get a stop here. Can't let them convert this, man. Let's get a stop early. Come on. Up the middle with it. It's Dalvin Cook. What are you juking for, my guy? He stopped at the 40-yard line. 
we can't let this team get off to an early start running the ball. That's just going to set up play acts for Irv Smith Jr., for Adam Thielen, for Kyle Rudolph. And they, they're running it down our throat right now. Another gain of five yards. It seems like teams have the tendency to try to run the ball against us. Only two games in, we're getting that tendency from these teams. We're pretty weak at corner. Like, come on, pass the ball a little bit. The motion in Jefferson. Okay, a pass. Can we get a stop here? Oh, wow. Airmail throw by Kirk Cousins right there. Thank God that could have potentially been a touchdown depending on how fast my linebacker was. I'm kind of scared to run man coverage in this situation. We got to get a stop. Third and five. Keep Dalvin down here. Come on. Come on. Get him. Get him. Let's go. The pressure makes them throw it away. Kirk Cousins was open to on that drive. And now we're going to get the ball back. Let's see what we can do offensively. Last week, we had an amazing performance. Can we duplicate that this week? I hope so. Looks like he kicks it out of bounds. Take a swig of my water real quick. Because my throat's already getting dry. All right. We're coming out. Empty backfield early. Looks like I don't even need to send Hawkinson on that right. It looks like if I send him straight... He's going to be good. Hawkinson is wide open. So we do rat catch. Did he catch it? He did catch it. So just like last week, the first reception goes to Hawkinson. And it looks like my receivers aren't set up correctly because I don't remember seeing Marvin Jones in the lineup last week. Maybe he was injured last week. I don't know. But it's good to see my boy back. Kenny Galladay early on a slant route. Man, he plays so well on those slant routes. It's crazy. He's down at the 34-yard line. So we're off to a good start. So we hand the ball off to DeAndre Swift right here with the track play. It's looking good. Up the middle. Gain him about, ooh, he's fighting. Gain him about six yards. Saw a little run right there for DeAndre. Uh, why? The tablet. The, like, this is next gen, bro. They could have made the tablet actually move. Like, what is that? Yeah, Madden, y'all got to do better. A lot of people in the game that aren't supposed to be in the game. I'm going to have to check my depth chart. What are y'all doing? Second and four. Drop back. Stafford. It's picked off at the 20-yard line. He's at the 30, the 40. Offensive lineman, the 50, the 40, 35, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10. That's a pick six, man. That was a really bad throw by me. I was, like, looking all over the field. Panic. Threw it right to the rookie, Jeff Gladney. Really bad turnover right there. We gotta come back on the field. We gotta, we gotta make something shake. That was, that was on me. I can't put that on anybody but me. I shouldn't even have thrown that man. That's a tough one. Let's get this ball back and let's get some cracking. Also have to check my depth chart. Cause I don't know what Agnew you doing, but you're supposed to be in the slot, man. So juke move, get tackled at the 25 yard line, right where you would have been if we would have got the touchback. All right, let's see what's going on with the receivers. What's... Okay, that's everything I'm supposed to be. Maybe it's the slot. The slot is when somebody's trying to be slick. Danny Amendola's trying to be slick. Watch out, man. Oh, man. We don't the need way. you over there. We need the young bull out there. All right, we got the ball on our own 25-yard line. Agnew's in there this time. Let's send Hawkinson on another streak. Get this thing rolling. Okay, Hawkins is wide open. Oh, I threw another pick. It was air mailed. Oh, my God. My last two throws have been picks. This is bad. This is really, really bad. The Vikings is not playing today. They are not playing today. They're on it. I had them open for a split second, but, you know, it went away really quick. I really thought I could fit that in there. That sucks. Second and nine. All right, let's try to get this blitz. Let's try to get this blitz. Put some pressure on. Oh, this is a screen pass. Let's stop it. Come on. Come on, Davis. Come on, Davis. One-on-one. -on -one. Solid tackle. Keep it to a gain of four. Let's go. Let's run this cover three right here. We're going to contain just so he doesn't want to try to get out the pocket. Bring Harmon down a little bit. Let's get this stop. Huge, huge play right here. Oh, you gave him too much space. Dalvin Cook converts. With a gain of 10 to get the first down at our 12-yard line. Oh, man. We needed that stop right there. We cannot go down two scores. We cannot. Not against this team with all the weapons that they have. 
KP, oh no, the curl routes are killing us again today. He's tackled at the one yard line. Ah, oh, man, that's another guy that I mentioned, Kyle Rudolph, man. He's been in the league a long time, but he's still doing his thing. We're gonna do press coverage, we're gonna try inside, because I can see them doing a slant here. We're getting in the backfield, but we couldn't contain him. Dalvin Cook comes in with the score to give the Vikings a 13. Zero lead pending the PAT to give him 14. And he's not really gonna miss that. So now we done put ourselves in a hole. 14 0, bro. Two back to back picks, bro. That is not a good look. That is not a good look. I was just praising Stafford and now I'm going out here. I'm doing the worst with him. Coming out the end zone. It's not really gonna get us much. We get to the 20 yard line. So now we gotta. Pretty big deficit to overcome against this team. We don't really want to be down any more than this because it could get scary. Let's go try to run the ball. Get the ball out of Stafford's hands a little bit. DeAndre Swift up the gut. Gets the first down with the juke move. Good game of 12 yards by DeAndre Swift. Maybe we can fit in a little play action after that good run. No, we're going to run the stretch bubble. Let's go. I usually don't throw these and you got Harrison Smith lurking over there, so... Maybe I'll throw it this time. Come on, Galladay. Come on, Galladay. We need you. We need you. You never. You don't really see big Galladay juking like that, but he did it right there. And I forgot. We got to get him 200 yards. Getting to play with the X Factor could be huge for this team. All right, let's 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 do this. Galladay should get open right here. Look at that. Galladay right there. Our superstar player tackled at the 44-yard line. Back-to-back -back receptions for Galladay. Like I said, we're going to try to get you that milestone. We don't have nothing else to play for. We might as well, right? Looks like they're running a cover three. This could be easily exposed. Kenny Galladay again. Oh, good deflection by the rookie, Jeff Gladney. We're kind of forcing it to him now. I want to chill out a little bit. Let's do this toss to DeAndre Swift. See what we can get out of this. Let's get some blocks. Get some blocks, okay, some solid blocking, and we get a we get a nice gain of three. More than I expected getting, but all right, this is gonna be the end of the first quarter. And we're down 14-0. But we're marching down the field. Hopefully, we don't throw another interception. It's been it's been bad, bro. We gotta get something here. We gotta get something. I wanna run this screen, but I really I don't trust Harrison Smith. I feel like he's gonna be right on that. Let's do the slants. Let's run the slants. Let's see if we can get here. Kenny again. Kenny Galladay on the slant. He might be turning into Michael Thomas with the slants, but it's okay. He's killing, and he's getting yards after the catch early. Four catches, 64 yards. He's on his way to getting that 200 yards. He's almost at 100 in the first half. All right. It's first and 10 at the 23-yard line. Let's make something shake. Let's make something shake. Agnew with the reception. Juke move. And he's tackled at the 15-yard line. Solid gain on first down. Let's try to run this and get another first down. We don't want to get into the, the passing game too much without forgetting about the run. And we get the first down. Gain of three yards by DeAndre Swift. Ooh, I like this play right here. I like this. But we're going to send. No, no, no. Let's put you on a, let's put you on a post route. No, we're going to send you on that slant. We're going to send you on the slant, bro, bro. Play action pass. Kenny Galladay's wide open. Touchdown, Kenny Galladay. His third touchdown in one and a half games. Not even one and a half games. My boy Kenny going crazy. Maybe he can go for the fourth touchdown. With the extra point, we now make the game 14 to 7. We draw closer. We can't let this game get out of hand. Nice little drop by Matt Stafford and the crew. Let's kick this thing off and let the defense do what it do. Fair. Nice little kickoff. He should be taking that out of the end zone. Let's try to get a big hit on the corner. Oh, Davis, come on. Get off that block. Okay. We still got a solid hit in by our tight end, Jesse James. We need you to get in the game, too. You were pretty solid for the Steelers. But we need to be solid for ourselves and play some defense. Just got your 90 speed. I need you to show up. Keep up with him. Best of your abilities. We got to deal with Dalvin and these receivers. But we stopped him in the backfield that time. A loss of one. Nice game tackle. Right there in a single back ace. 
these formations can get scary because you can really get hit with a nice nice play action they run it again and we stop Dalvin to a gain of two yards i think that was a generous two that, that looked like one and a half we gonna let it slide though we gonna blitz here safety blitz got my old man Harmon out here let's pinch that line a little bit play action pass oh feelings open oh that's not even feeling who is that that is caught at the 46 yard line i saw a white boy and i thought it was feeling it's definitely not feeling did that say Beely? Beely? b b b b okay oh boy hurst got a partner a white partner on the team i really thought that was feeling we're gonna blitz here again we got everybody contained he has to throw the ball away it looks like he had an option on the left side, but I guess he didn't trust it. He thought it was going to get hit or something. This looks like a run all the way. I'm not going to lie. This is looking like a run all the way. Can we sniff it out? It's not a run. Hit us with a quick slant to Jefferson, and he gets tapping at the 30-yard line. They're driving in our territory. It, this isn't good. We can't let them score 21 in the first half. That's not a good look. Let's run this cover three. They might be going to Dalvin here. Might be going to Dalvin here. Davis, oh, Dalvin breaks the tackle. Oh, he's through the line again. Oh, my God. A nice little 15 yards by Dalvin Cook. You, can, you really can't stop this guy. I got to draft the line back. Just have to. We're going to try to blitz here. Come on. Let's try to get some pressure on so we can't get the ball off. Ah, oh, that's on me. Kyle Rudolph with the reception. And I tried to help tackle. But it ended up gaining him a few more yards at the three-yard line. We're going to get into a 4-3 right here. Let's run this little cover two. Pinch this just in case he runs up the middle. Looks like they're going to go outside with this. Oh, a pass play. That's what we kind of want. Oh, a pump fake. And we get the sack. Everson Griffin coming off the bench. We had him on the bench last game without even knowing. He's going to be going next year, but... We're glad you got a little sack right there. Let's get it. Can we get the goal line stand? They got the six yard line. This might be an inside zone. I'm gonna be watching for an inside zone or a screen pass. They might try to be slick with a screen pass. Are right, they running slants here? Slants. Oh, he overthrows it. I, I think he threw that away. That was a throwaway. I'm pretty sure. Should we go with the blitz here? Cover two, man. Let's let's try let's try the safety blitz again. Let's try the safety blitz again. It's gonna be scary running man coverage against this, but it's worth the shot. It's running the slant here. We're on that. He has to throw it away again. Perfect coverage by the defense and keeping the Minnesota Vikings to a field goal. That's what we needed right there. So now we gotta come back strong on offense and march down the field for another touchdown. And do we get ball at half? I think we get ball at half. So scoring here, and then stopping them again would be huge. Putting total leather. We're gonna. We're always gonna take it out the end zone. We got Jamal Agnew back here with evasive. Definitely gonna. Oh, juke move, and I'm tackling it around the 23 yard line. All right, we might have to start keeping that thing in. Now. I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> Let's hit this T angle. Oh yeah, we might have to take you deep, boy. We might have to take you deep. Come on, what's going on here? Agnew, come on. Nice catch. Agnew's really, so I don't know who's guarding him right there, but he is miniature compared to that guy. That is crazy. I thought that was going to be an easy knockout. We got Harrison Smith back there. Should we just, we're going to audible to the run play. Play smart. You just get the first down. DeAndre Swift pushes it forward for a gain of four yards to the 35-yard line. Can we get the snap off before the two-minute warning? No, we can't. So at a two-minute warning, the score is 17 to 7. With us marching down the field a little bit, let's hit him with the screen pass. You always got to hit him with a little screen pass. Catch him off guard. Let's see what we can do here. Come on. Come on. Get the blocks off. Get the blocks off. Juke move. Okay. Power forward to a gain of five. Of course, on a screen pass, you want to gain more yards than that. But it is what it is. Let's keep this thing moving. Might run on this alert screen. And run that thing up the gut. DeAndre Swift, he's powering for these yards. I'm not going to lie. It might not be much, but it's something. It's better than losing yardage. Looks like they're blitzing here. 
Look like they're blitzing here. Swift could be leaking out. Come on, Swift. Come on, Swift. Fight for it. Did he get it? I don't think he got it. I don't think he got it. Oh, we don't usually go for it on fourth down, but we don't have anything to lose. Our season's over. We're looking for a big win here. Why not go for it? Why not? Okay, it looks like they're ready for this. Can we get it? Can we get the first down? Oh, they took too long to hand it off. Did he fight for it? No. Ah, we gave him back the ball in our territory. Maybe that was a bad coaching decision right there. Hope that doesn't come back to bite us. We need to try to get a turnover or something. Looks like they ran commit right there. That's a tough one. Oh, easy completion to Jordan Jefferson, and Curse is not catching him. Easy one-play touchdown for Jordan Jefferson. Easily a candidate to be rookie of the year. Oh, man, this is looking like an L for us, man. Early on, 24-7 to in the first half. We do have 59 seconds left to maybe score before half and then come back with that momentum during the second half. Score again, and it's only a three-point. It's only a three-point game at that point. So let's try to make something shake. We got to start passing the ball more. The run game is kind of dead. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not gonna lie to you. Looks like we got back to the 25. We got 55 seconds in three timeouts. And to be honest, Matt Stafford's not new to this, man. He's used to doing stuff like this. You know we got to go deep. You know we got to go deep. What the safety doing? No safety help. We're going for Galladay. No safety help. We're going for Galladay. Did he hang on to it? No. Great defensive play. Holy. Uh, I, thought I, was, I thought he was going to hang on to that. You know, when you got the size advantage like that, you expect your players to hang on to those, but we didn't. Second and 10 with 50 seconds left. Looks like they're blitzing us. Galladay's open. And he's taken down at the 43-yard line. We're going to use our first time out there. Galladay is, I got my eye on Galladay. We're trying to get him that, trying to get him that X factor. As well as he's just our best option in general. Looks like they have a linebacker on Agnew. This might be cover three. Oh, Agnew's right there. Oh, it was batted down. Thank God we didn't get that pick. When I have Stafford, bro, he has a 94 uh, throw power, so I'm expecting him to be able to fit that in there, but it's not going right now. They're blitzing us again. Okay, Hawkinson. I waited too long. That's on me. I thought DeAndre Swift's route was going to open up, but that one's definitely on me. Can't even get mad at that. They had good pressure. Let's try this on. I didn't try to do that, but didn't try to do that. We're going to try this out route. Go to an out route. I'm going to try to out route with Galladay because that's what he's good at. Hopefully they don't drop somebody back to double team him. Come on, Hawkinson wide open. Nice stiff arm to get the first down. We're going to use our second timeout. So we're going to at least get a field goal here, I hope. Barring an interception or something. We don't want that for sure. We're at the 45 yard line. So we have to get some more yards before we can just assume we're going to get that field goal, but I'm thinking that we can. We're going to throw this up to Marvin Jones. He, oh, I thought he was coming down with it. These Minnesota corners, they're not going out today. I'm thinking that's sweet. They said ain't nothing sweet over here. All right, 45 seconds with 25. No, it's 45 yard line with 25 seconds left. What can we do? What can we do, Hawkinson? Hawkinson, Hawkinson with the catch at the 20-yard line, and he rides him out of bounds. Pause. Oh, that's 750 yards for Hawkinson on the season, and we have two. We have one more timeout, so we gotta take another shot to the end zone before before the half. Let's go. Come on, come on, Galladay. Come on, Galladay. Did Galladay catch it? He caught it in the corner of the end zone. What a dot by Matt Stafford to his favorite target, Kenny Galladay, for seven or six. It's about to be seven. That's a solid seven. This duo, man, if you get that superstar trait, man, not a superstar, but the X Factor, they could be going crazy. Can we get a replay on that? Let's get a little, 
Let's get a replay on that one. That was kind of sexy. You game highlight. Let me go back to it though. Look at the perfect lob to the end zone with the possession catch. Yes. Bro, I didn't think I was going to get that. I thought I had to aggressive catch that one. But I, I didn't want to try to aggressive catch it because I seen I was in the corner of the end zone. But I wanted my feet down. But you know, sometimes when you try to do possession catch, they don't even give you a chance to catch the ball in no those situations. So that's cool. That's cool. I fuck with it. 24 to 14. They're probably just going to run the ball or something to get to halftime. That's that must be pretty disappointing giving up that touchdown right before the half. Nice little run right here with um, Madison. Figured it was him. I thought he was injured though, but they're gonna kneel this down and take it to half. I would too have, that was kind of demoralizing letting that touchdown happen in the corner of the end zone. So at halftime, the score is 24 to 14. Vikings are up right now, but that all could change. Here comes the second half. We get ball first. Let's go. Let's go. We got a score right here though. We can't get excited before we before we even do anything with the ball. Agnew taking it out the end zone, getting a solid field position at the 24-yard line. Let's get it. Stafford coming out back to the field. Can we get the run game going for him? Let's try to get it going. Let's see Swift. Like we drafted you for a reason. We need you to produce out there. And we ain't got nothing shaking. The gain on one yard. It's looking rough right now. Do we even try the play action with how the running game's going? Should we try it? Let's run the slant. Let's run the slant. Something sweet and easy. They're running man coverage. Hawkinson, that's an easy dot to the sideline. Keeps his feet in bounds to the 42-yard line. Hawks is having himself a game this year. Or this game. I said this year, having himself a game this year. Looks like we have a linebacker right there in the middle. Let's send Hawkson on that streak. Oh, yeah, that's easy for Galladay. Dot, dot, dot by Stafford to the 47-yard line. Galladay's well on his way to a 200-yard day. Pretty sure he has over 100 yards right now. What you looking at? 126. That's eight receptions for him already in the third quarter, early in the third quarter. Let's run this play action pass again. Didn't look like they bit on it much. Galladay's wide open. Okay, making a move, and he's tackled at the 21 yard line. Like I said, we, he's gotta be fed. He's gotta be fed. All right, what are we looking at here? Our main target is Agnew. Can we make something shake? Can we make something shake? No, we cannot. Oh, it's another pick at the 20 yard line. Gladney, can we get him? Can we get him? He's at the 40, the 35, the 30, the 25, the 20, 15, 10. Five touchdown, another pick six, bro. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? Oh, man. I didn't think he was going to react to the ball like that. I thought. I thought Agnew's route was gonna make him try to cheat up ahead and try to go guard him, but that's not the case. This rookie corner is playing like a veteran. Like he's there. He is there. He has the awareness, the play recognition. He has everything. He's, he's on that. That's the third interception of the game for Stafford. Oh man, just as we're driving downfield. That is tough. That is really tough. All right, let's try something else. Let's run this deep end flat. So we gotta get this ball moving quickly, swiftly. Snapping the ball, wait for something to develop. Agnew's wide open, can we get the juke? Nice little gain right there to the 42 yard line. Staff was on his way to having a 300 yard day, but that doesn't really matter. Seeing as there's three interceptions, man, it's, it's rough out here for Stafford right now. We can continue to try to drive the ball down. Oh, Agnew's wide open for a touchdown. If he catches it, he corrals it. And Jamal Agnew with the easiest touchdown in his life, the easiest throw that Matt Stafford probably ever had to complete. All you got to do is throw that thing up there. He's waiting on it like it's a punt. So now we're into the end zone. It is 21 to 31 now, a lot closer game. All we have to do is get a stop. Because without us giving them the ball on them interceptions, 
we should have the lead right now, but we have one cornerback with two interceptions and two touchdowns. That is bad. He's taking that thing and he's running and we're running down and getting that big hit. Let's go. Maybe we need that touchdown big hit to give us some momentum, get some juice to the team. Let's run QB contain just to contain him in the pocket if he tries to scramble out. All right, we gotta, gotta contain Dalvin right now. Oh, he's wide open, Dalvin. He has all the time in the world. Can we get a pick here? No, but it is a stop. It is a stop. Right there, we should have gotten a pick. I'm kind of disappointed that we didn't get that interception because he just handed it out to us, but it's whatever. As long as they didn't catch it, they hand it out to Dalvin. He tries to juke, he breaks the tackle, and he's right out where he started. Third and 10, this is huge right here. We're not gonna blitz because our blitzes don't really get anywhere. Let's just try to get this stop. Let's just try to get this stop. Come on. No first down here. Give it up to Dalvin. Give it up to Dalvin. Let's go. Dalvin tried to juke, but he got stood the fuck up. Fourth and two. That's what we needed right there, defensive stop. Because the offense has been pushing us back. We haven't been helping ourselves. So we're going to try that this direction, man. No more stupid throws. No more stupid throws, man. Agnew picks it up at his 15, scrambles around with a nice juke move, and we're tackled down at the 26 yard line. You gotta change that number on you, boy. 39? Ugly, my guy. That's really ugly. We're not gonna run this play again. What we got here that we can probably oh, do? Wide receiver drag. This could be a nice little play for Agnew. It looks like they have man coverage set up right now. Okay, God, he's right there with the dot for Matthew Stafford. Dropping down at the 41 yard line. Looks like he's gonna be able to get that X factor, man. 10 receptions already. For what Gladden's been doing, he's been letting up a lot of yards. Okay, tight. First and 10 at the 41 yard line, let's go. Let's throw this up to Galladay, let's see what happens. Oh man, those jump balls. I'm trying to get him to win one of those 50-50 balls, because you know, He's six seven. I was about six six seven. He's six four. So we we want to get one of those eventually, but it's not cracking for us right now. Let's go with the short throw to DeAndre Swift. Juke move. He's gonna fight for some yards. Get down to the Vikings forty seven. Let's go. All again at thirteen. Let's go vertically, man. Spread them out a little bit. Oh, Damian Jones in the game. We got the whole squadron in the game. Hawkinson right there, easy got over the middle, getting to their 29-yard line. And Stafford's having himself a game if you don't look at the interceptions. You know, almost 400 passing yards. You gotta keep this thing moving. You cannot have a red zone interception or turnover. <sighs> maybe I'm forcing a little bit too much. Maybe I'm forcing a little too much. It's not me, y'all. I definitely am forcing the ball, but we're good. With it, you know? We're trying to get that X factor. Keep peace to the offense. You know, we gotta get that X factor. We're gonna throw it short to DeAndre here. Let's make something happen. Let's make something happen. Fight for some yards. DeAndre Swift is really good at fighting for those extra yards, making it 32. Let's get back to the run game. We haven't ran in a little minute. He hasn't been very effective running it, but. You know, we got to keep the run in the game just to set up that play action later on. And Swift runs through defenders to get to the 16-yard line. Let's go. We haven't gotten the best ones today, but we've been getting some solid ones to actually move the ball. We'll move it to the first down. We're going to go play action here. Play action pass. We cancel it out. Uh, we want to throw that to Galladay, but I just don't want to take the chance scrambling around. You know, that could just be a bad throw. It looks like they're about to press Galladay. So we're going to send him on that street. Oh, come on. Come on. Another interception in the red zone. And that's Jeff Gladney with another one, bro. Oh, brother. This guy stinks. These are all on me. But can you blame me for trying to go at a low overall corner with a 6'4 receiver? Can I really be blamed for that? That's the one yard line. Can we get a stop and get a safety? No, we cannot. We had him dead to rights. A big hit 
in the end zone, but Dalvin Cook countered it. He said, get off of him. He ain't going out like that. That could have been a huge play, but we didn't get it. Let's try to get another stump. Come on. Come on. If we can get them to punt the ball, that'd be huge. Because either way, we're going to get good field position. One more stop. One more stop. We got to get there on the first hit. If we let him break the tackle, he's probably easily going to get that first down. Come on. Come on. Come on. He's fighting for yards, but we got to stop. Dalvin Cook was making it look scary, and that's going to be the end of the third quarter with the Vikings leading 31 to 21. Now it's crunch time, just like last week. Can we make the comeback? We're only down by 10 points with 10 minutes left, and they're putting the ball at their own eight yard line. Let's get it. Where this ball going to? Okay, it's a decent punt. Fielding at the 30, but we're taking it up. Can't stop at the 45 yard line, 46. So we have amazing field position. We just cannot throw another pick. I don't know what's going on right now. I'm just throwing Stevie after Stevie after Stevie. Let's hand this ball off to Swift right here. See what we can get. A little solid gain of three. Swift's averaging four yards a carry, which isn't bad. We need it a little bit better, but it's not bad. I'll chill on it. It's not horrible. Let's try to run it up the gut here. I want to keep the ground on the ball on the ground a little bit. We can't really afford to do that with the time, but we, we don't want to be spooky with the ball. I might do something scary. You know, we don't really need that right now. Let's see, we run right here. We can pass. Let's run this. Let's run this. Oh, man. Oh, man. I don't know why I'm nervous, dude. Hawkinson? <laughs> oh my god. Did Hawkinson just let that bounce off his hands straight into the defender? That one is not on me. That's an easy first down. That one's not on me, bro. Oh, that is bad. And they get the reception. He's at the 40 yard line. Try to lay a big hit on him. He's at the 29 yard line. You see, Kirk Cousins doesn't have that many stats. The Marcus. I say the Marcus Wilson. Dalvin Cook doesn't have much. And it's just me, bro. I'm throwing all these interceptions. But that one, I will not put that one on me. Dalvin Cook up the Oh, a nasty juke. Shaking two defenders out of their shoes. Oh, man. He started at the 12. We can't allow a touchdown here. We cannot allow a touchdown here. The game's pretty much over if we allow a touchdown here. Come on, get back there. Get back there. Let's get it. Nice little glitchy stop right there, kicking to a game of two yards. Oh man, that that interception is gonna come back to Thomas and my green. Hawkinson let us down right there. He was having such a good game. Something like that happens. Solid tackle again. Back right where you started, Cook. Let's get it. Like I said, we cannot allow a touchdown here. Touchdown seals the game. We don't have enough time. The three might seal the game with how we're playing. Come on. Come on, get some pressure. Please get some pressure. Okay, he threw that away instead of actually trying to hit him, which he could have, but you know, Kirk Cousin kind of got a nude lay on, so he was probably kind of nervous about throwing that. We had spooked a little bit. But now the game is 34 to 21. Two possession game. We scored two touchdowns. We could take that lead, but if they get the ball back, they can get the field goal and win the game. But. You gotta start off with a touchdown first. Let's get it. Get some good field position. Come on, Agnew. I'm gonna have to start letting this field position go, especially now that we're crunch for time. I don't have to hurry up offense here. We still gotta, we still gotta get Kenna Galladay to these yards. I mean, they didn't see. Why are they running this? Come on, come on, Galladay. Come on, Galladay. Mmm, I hate to turn in the corner. This is bad. Oh, man. That's a bad stat to look at. Five interceptions. We're going to go for it again. We might get intercepted going for this. Okay, Galladay's wide open. He catches it at the 30 yard on the 25 to 20. 15, 10, 5 touchdown, Kenny Galladay. Another touchdown for Kenny Galladay. Four touchdowns in the last two weeks. Kenny Galladay is going off. 
Finally, we target him and we don't get picked off. We've been getting picked off a lot thrown his direction. But this time we got us a touchdown. Now we got to get us a big time stop. Let's get us a big time stop. Come back and stop. Let's finish this season strong so we can start off next season strong. You feel me? Let's get it. Make some people think this team got some potential so we can draw some interest of free agents or whatever. Maybe some trade partners, but we got to get a stop here. We have to get a stop here. Let's get it. They might be trying to run the ball just to drain some clock. Come on, play action. Let's get back there. Let's get back there. Can we get that? Oh, beautiful pass by Kirk Cousins to uh, Kyle Rudolph for the first down. They got the ball at the 38, man. Kirk Cousins trying to dial up, trying to seal this thing up. He can't even allow a field goal right now. We just got to keep our momentum. Let's get a stop. Let's get a stop in the backfield. That's about a loss of three right there for Dalvin Cook. Let's get it. That's Everson Griffin, a former Viking. Let's go. I don't know why they shouldn't have got rid of you, big dog. Let's keep this up. Let's keep this up. Hey, we're there. We're there. We're there. Get back there. Okay, that's out of bounds. That's out of bounds. Third and 13. We're going to play conservative. I don't trust the blitz. We ain't getting there anyway. Let's just play conservative and play some coverage. Lock everything down. Contain everything. Contain. Oh, no. Oh, no. We got beat deep. Oh, no. How did that happen? How did that happen? He came leaking free. They're going to go for the two-point conversion. It just makes sense, too. And they're going to pass it. That's free. That is so free. Now we need two touchdowns to even pass it with under four minutes to go. Oh, that is the best play right there. My guys. Oh, my guys. They're kicking it too short. We got to take these. Got to take these. We're not getting any juice with the basic ability. It's looking tough. I'm not going to lie. Unless we can get another easy, quick touchdown with Kenny. He seems like our only option right now. Not going to lie. We gotta start moving this ball. We gotta start moving this ball. Okay, come on. Danny. Danny Amendola with his first reception of the game. Stafford almost 500 yards passing. Holy. But it's too many intercepts. This should be an amazing play. They're playing three man deep. When they screen pass, block up. Why are y'all going that way, bro? Why are they why are they going that way, bro? Oh man, why are they going that way? Let's snap that ball before they get everything situated. DeAndre. Oh man. Oh, that screen pass could have went for a lot more if they would have just. I don't know what they're doing. I don't know. That is bad. Let's go. We got to get these balls snapped quickly. Let's go, Agnew. Hurry it up, hurry it up. It's almost 500 yards passing for Stafford. We're going to try to run the ball here and get the first. Did he get it? He didn't get it. Let's try to hurry up once more. Let's snap that thing. Come on. Marvin Jones Jr. with his first reception of the day. Oh, man. New milestone for Stafford. 500 yards passing. We're at the two-minute warning now, so it's time getting crucial. We still have our three timeouts. Would have been nice to be able to use that two-minute warning while we're on defense, but we got to move the ball faster. Now they're at their 24-yard line. He's wide open. Jamal Agnew with the diving catch for the touchdown. His second receiving touchdown of the day. Oh, my God. I could have sworn Harrison Smith was going to pick that off or something. But we got it. We led it to the left side. So Harrison Smith was not quick enough to get there and stop the play. Let's go. We need to stop. Every time we need to stop, we let them score. Going up for an onside is not our smartest option because, you know, those don't really go too well ever. Okay, they might take this out. So can we get a fumble right here? Can we get a fumble right here? Can we get a... Ooh, we got a big hit but no fumble. But now we got to get a stop. We have to get a stop and give ourselves a chance right here. Of course, they're going to try to run the ball. It's a smart thing to do. They got Dalvin Cook. 
Come on. Let's get him in the backfield. We cannot let him. We can't let him break the first tackle. I don't even know if I want to call timeout yet. I know I should, but I know I should, but you know, he might get this first down. He might get this first down. Come on. Oh, it looks like he got the first down. Third and inches. This is huge. This is huge. This is huge. Can I guess run? I'm a guess run up the middle. I'm a guess run up the middle. I'm a guess run up the middle. Let's get him in the backfield. It looks like he got the first down, bro. It looks like he got the first down. Oh, man. That is a killer. That is a killer. We had him right there. But it's Dalvin Cook, so you know he's going to die for the extra yardage. That's a tough loss to take on the 10. That is a tough loss to take on the 10. They're just going to kneel on the ball now. Okay, what, what y'all doing? Y'all getting a little cocky? What's going on? I'm going to run the ball. Of course. Of course? Maybe. Of course, they're going to run the ball. And they're going to get, okay, we get a stop. They're probably going to kneel it since I called timeout, but I don't understand the point of running the ball again after you just kneeled it, but yeah, they're going to hit us with the kneel. I thought maybe we can get lucky, but that's not the case. It's going to be a tough loss. We're going to have to take on the 10, but this is what we're rebuilding for, man. We're going to end the season 6-10. and 10. Oh, man, just drain out the card, right? We don't have a chance, and that's the end of the game. The Minnesota Vikings take home the victory. 42 to 35 and that's that's on the QB's shoulders that's on that's on my shoulders I threw a bunch of interceptions some of them could have been avoided most of them could have been avoided but you know when you got a target like Penny Dollar you know you gotta try to get him the ball I doubled up Kirk Cousins on the yardage and the touchdown and the interception but uh, Kenny Gallagher though he almost got both requirements he needed for that superstar X factor. That's how we're going to end our season with the loss. We went and beat Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Then we came and lost to a worse team in the Minnesota Vikings. That's a tough one, man. They kick me out of our franchise every time a game goes. I don't know why next year goes to. Stop doing that. I'm trying to get to my I'm trying to talk to the people. I'm talking to people. But good thing we're on next scene, so you know, let me load kind of kind of this you know. Let's get back into this franchise. Just to show you guys that I did get the ex did I get the breakout on Romeo? Okay, we got the star trade on Romeo. I guess he got his tackle for loss. 20,000 for our defensive line, and that's insane. And now we get the breakout for Kenny Colliday. Oh, huh? Huh? Okay, okay, okay. I was about to say, he was already a superstar. Why are they still showing a regular superstar symbol? 20,000 for Kenny Gallagher, too, dude. Does that get us upgrades? Yes, it does. Romeo gets two upgrades. Come on. Okay, it's doing this thing where it doesn't let me click on the people. So I'm going to be upgrading these people later in the next video because, you know, we're going to be getting to the off season and stuff like that. So that's the end of our season. We went up, we ended up going six and 10. Let's sim to the next week real quick, just to see what draft pick we'll have this upcoming draft. Let's see. They get wrecking ball. We're gonna have the 13th pick in the draft. I think before we won against Tampa, we had the seventh. That's pretty bad. Maybe I should have tanked that game, but we don't do no tanking around here, man. I hope y'all enjoyed the episode. That's the end of our disappointing season. I'll toggle through the stats for y'all real quick. Stafford held himself a solid season. As always, running game was not there. We got to work on that. Passing game. A lot of our receivers are in, so we got a lot of receivers with different stats. So, you know how that goes. Defense got a lot of work to do. A lot of work to do. A lot of work to do. And we're going to address that in the offseason, depending on who becomes free agent. And we're going to get to all of that next episode. We're going to dive into free agency, the draft, 
and then we're gonna get to the next season for y'all. Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Hit the like button, hit the sub button. It's your main man HJ, and I'm out, man. Peace.